Hey, darlings. Gemini. Gemini. Come on in, darling. What are they doing? Let's find out what they are doing. Let's see if I can pick up on them. Gemini. Gemini. How you doing, darling? Come on in. Make a drink. Wrap up and meet Blanky. I don't know where Maximus is. He's been sleeping in the closet in the bedroom lately. I don't know what's going on there. He's just not feeling well. It doesn't stop him from eating, though. So, uh, wrap up and meet Blanky. Come sit beside me, Jem. Let's do a read. There we go. Let's put... I am Sparta. There, yeah, let's put him over there. That's a Gemini. I am Sparta. <laughs> That's a Gemini. Gemini's with a very calculating mind. Okay, everything's in the upright position. If it comes out reverse, there's a reason for it. Also, please, I'm going to put in all my videos. If you're in a tower, if you're in a very, very sensitive part of your life today, please do not watch this video because Char sees it, Char reads it. No holding back, no fluffy. Let's go. No fluffy here. Also, if you like my videos, please hit the like button for me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Let's go. You'll probably see some trails. I'm on YouTube. Let's go. Damn, there's a fast-moving energy, and that is uh, air energy. Fast-moving energy. Here we go. Ten of diamonds. Ten of pentacles. If you watched my last video with Taurus, you'll see what I believe with the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, just what the hell is going on with the Ten of Pentacles. All right. We have the Lover's Card, Gem. Your person is obviously feeling like they're going to leave. Here we go again. There's Gemini and Aquarius seem to give me a real run for my money when I come to friggin' reading cards. There seems to be a lot of in, out, up, down, in, out, up, down. I'm leaving, but I want to marry you. Okay. Let's get some cards out here. Let's find out what's going on with your person. Let's see what we can find out what's going on here. All right, your person. Your person has a ten of pentacles. All in all, they're, they're, pretty feel, they're feeling pretty stable. And uh, the lover's card and leaving. Now, the lover's card and leaving, you know, I'm really going to think that this is a double-minded mindset. I don't know if you can see those or not with the YouTube uh, recording. This is the marriage card, making a decision. In love, this person is thinking of an air sign, massive air sign. Uh, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. And with the nightmare card in the reverse... There is confusion here. There is some confliction. I'm leaving. I'm staying. I'm leaving. I'm staying. Um, oh. Let's take another look. Let's take another look. What is this leaving? Leaving a marriage offer? This person that is in love, they know that you are lovers. Leaving a marriage offer? Did someone propose? And they said no. So, not leaving per se, but leaving an offer sitting on the table. I believe that's what's going on here. Yeah. Not taking a leap. Not taking a leap here. This person is not taking a leap. And they're coming out of the Nine of Hammers. I believe they, wow, I think they went through a hell of a lot of pain. A lot of pain. They're focusing 
All right, they are focusing with the eight of diamonds. This usually means a craft of some sort, going back to school, taking the course. They are focusing on something else. They're not looking back on the three cups that have spilled. They're now focusing on the two cups that are still standing upright. What the hell has happened here? Let's put some cards around this. Is this money? I will say no. This is not money. And I've been reading this in the Gemini readings for a long, long time. A long time. Someone believes that someone has been a little bit footloose and fancy free. A little bit footloose and fancy free feeling that someone has not been honest. Someone has been a thief here. A thief in the night. This person wants to stand at the goalposts of life or they are right now deciding to stand at the goalposts of life and take a damn good look at what's out there. Taking a look at what's out there. We have a freaking air sign like crazy here. Your person is... Your person's coming out of hell here with the uh, nightmare card in the reverse, so they obviously beat that. Then we got the um, finding out something and the ten of hammers and the nine of hammers coming down. Your person um, is starting to ride a little bit higher. They're starting to back their self-confidence. They're starting to do pretty freaking good here. And they've gone past the goalposts of life and they've actually stepped through. Stepped through the goalposts of life, looking into the future. Bam. Bam. This is love. This is home. This is peace, love, and, and just being together. And... And... Um, with the walking away card. You know what, Jim? I'm just going to have to... You know what? I, I I don't know what the hell happened here. But, yeah. And this person is walking away and they're cutting off lines of communication. They're probably going to block you if they haven't already blocked you. Look at this shit. I mean, this... This is... Again, no communication. Two cards in a row. No communication. No communication. Walking away uh, from the Ten of Cups. Walking away from the Ten of Cups. This is freaking crazy. I see. Yeah. There it is again. Refusing to take a leap. Refusing to take a leap. Oh. You know what? I don't care how this person is acting on the outside. If you see them and they're all up in theirs and they're happy and laughing and giggling and having a damn good time and and out with their buds or whatever and, and drinking and partying, inside this person is wow. Yeah, they're at the ten. They're really trying to fight this, but holy crap. I'll tell you one thing, they shouldn't be drinking, because when they drink, there it is, and I can see drinking here, and when they yeah. drink, this is what they get. Sorry, got a message coming in there. Uh, this is what they get when they drink. They get... Uh, all up in the swords, all around them, blindfolded, can't move, paralyzed, can't move when nothing actually is holding them back. Well, yeah, drama. They're showing you one thing on the outside, but on the inside, I just don't know why the two of you can't get it together. Look. Want to open up a whole new path, a whole new start, a whole new beginning.
Yeah, that. And feeling, feeling that they have to defend themselves. Feeling they have to defend themselves against what? I don't know. Trying to find balance. Your person, well, your person wants no drama. That's for damn sure. And so I, well, there it is. They, they don't want to talk to you because they feel that they will have to go into explanation mode. And they just don't have the time for it. They don't have time. They don't want to go back into the past with the talking and talking and talking. They don't want to have the talk. And so they're going to refuse the fourth cup. This is a soulmate. Look. Health, healing, well-being. All up in their head. So if they tell you they're doing great... They're not. They're not. Because somebody did something and somebody else found out and somebody's guarded. And I'll say they are guarded. They're guarded. And the betrayal card, right side up. Well, Jim. Well, Jim. I don't know what else to tell you. But, uh, Getting in the boat, getting the hell out of Dodge. That's what I see. They're getting the hell out of Dodge. And you know, also, Gemini, this is your wish fulfillment. I think you waited too long to bust a move, or they waited too long to bust a move. And I don't know. What I see is your person wants to come forward. Your person doesn't want the drama of having to explain what happened. They don't want to hear about what happened. They just want to forget it. And I feel that they think that you just want to rehash this and you want to go over this and you want to talk about this. And I don't think they want to. And I think they're avoiding it. They're on the run. They're on the run. They they can't. They don't want to take a look at it, and they don't want to look at it anymore. And so they're going to hide from it instead of facing it. Well, Gemini, that's what I got for you, darling. Uh, I don't quite really know what the hell's going on. You do. If it resonates with you, then you know what's going on. Okay, darling. Wish you a nice day. Namaste, darling. Namaste.